A growing memorial lines the sidewalk at Hoosier Road Elementary. Tonight, community, students, and teachers continue to mourn the lives of two educators found dead in Fishers last night. Fishers police have identified the victims as 44-year-old Crystal Sergi and 52-year-old Frank Sergi II. At 730, a vigil will be held at Hoosier Road Elementary for Christy Sergi. Hearts are heavy there tonight as they prepare to mourn Crystal Sergi's life and legacy as an educator. Our Graham Hunter joins us live now. Graham. Hey, Erica. Yeah, that vigil is set to begin here in about 90 minutes. And yeah, take a look. You can see flowers have already been set out here. Crystal Sergi, of course, she was a teacher here at Hoosier Road Elementary. This school and Fall Creek Intermediate School were closed today and will be closed on Friday. Frank Sergi was the art teacher at Fall Creek Intermediate who also died in this tragedy. A Hamilton Southeastern Schools District spokeswoman tells me grief counselors will be available at those schools even while they are closed. The district has 14 licensed full-time mental health therapists, and that spokeswoman tells me there will be additional supports in place for the foreseeable future. The principal of Fall Creek Intermediate sent an email to parents tonight to let them know about a meeting set for Friday at the school from 1 to 3 to discuss how to let kids know about this tragedy. The district is still finalizing plans for the reopening of Hoosier Road Elementary and Fall Creek Intermediate. That's expected to happen Monday. Coming up at 7, we'll bring you some of the early sights and sounds from the vigil that's planned to begin here at Hoosier Road Elementary tonight at 7.30. We're reporting live from Fishers. Graham Hunter, RTV6. Graham, thank you. And the death investigation is still very active, but call six sources confirm it's a preliminary murder-suicide in the case of Crystal and Frank Sergi. According to court records, the couple filed for divorce. Police were called out to the home on Dorster Street in the Saxony neighborhood in Fishers. When they got there, they say they found a man and woman dead inside.